Blech. We know that Glenn Danzig is a lot of things, guys. He is a lot of things. He's a musician. He's a singer. He's a songwriter. He plays guitar, bass, drums. He plays the piano. He's a composer. He is a writer. He is a director. He is an actor. He was a record label owner and runner. He's a graphic artist. He's a photographer. And he does illustration. He runs a comic book company. He's an art dealer. For better or for worse, he does it all. It's really kind of weird to think that Glenn Danzig was also a movie critic. That's right. Glenn Danzig, for a period of time in the early 80s, wrote these tiny little movie blurb reviews for Flipside Magazine. Ugh. If you don't know what this one is, what the fuck you doing here? Videodrome by David Cronenberg. I love David Cronenberg films. I think Cronenberg is a master, and I love his son's work, too. If anybody's checked out Possessor, that's the new Brandon Cronenberg film. Imagine a world where David Cronenberg has a son who makes films just like David Cronenberg, and it doesn't feel like nepotism, and it doesn't feel like he's ripping off his dad in a exploitative way. It's a dude who's literally continuing the brand and carrying the torch of his father in the best way ever. And that's Brandon Cronenberg. And his father, David, he did this film called Video Journal, All Hail the New Flesh. This is what Glenn has to say about Video Journal. This concerns organizations' plans to warp people's brains via the use of special video transmissions. Fresh subject matter at last, good effects, and best of all, you can't figure out what's going to happen next. Deborah Harry is actually good in this one, too. This ends like most Cronenberg flicks. It's over, but you get the feeling it shouldn't be, or maybe it's just that you don't want it to be. Go see this and any other Cronenberg films. Scanners, The Brood, Rabbit. It came from within, a.k.a. Shivers. They came from within is the American title. But I like that. Josh S. says Scanners was this ish. There you go. Yeah, lots of great Cronenberg films. My favorite David Cronenberg film is actually not so much a horror film as it is a thriller, I guess. I love A History of Violence. I think it is one of his finest films. I think The Fly is his best work, but his but my favorite work is, is A History of Violence, which I would pair in a double feature with Kill Bill. 